Okay, if you haven't been skipping classes at corporate film school, you know that I'm really into the way that film history informs how we think about and produce corporate videos. When it comes to motion graphics, that is, type and other graphic elements laid over or flying around within our videos, we're looking at a fantastic and constantly evolving collision between the centuries-old art of print design and the medium that, to a large extent, for better and worse, supplanted it, motion pictures. And the dynamic that this collision creates, old school reading of words and graphic elements, while in the flow of the visual grammar of filmmaking, can be really stunning. For 12 years, Harold would tie his tie in a single Windsor knot. Or jarringly static. And or cheap looking. Nowadays, Software like After Effects has made even three-dimensional and multi-planar design accessible to most producers, pushing the old 2D print medium into wild new places. But the basic considerations for using motion graphics to help you tell your story are the same. Typeface, layout, and palette. That seems pretty straightforward, right? I mean, how hard could it be to design something that looks cool? Strangely, the aesthetic choices and interplay between even just these three elements, typeface, layout, and palette, is very complex and difficult to master. And we haven't even started moving everything around. In other words, you're not gonna learn how to apply high quality motion graphics to your project here at Corporate Film School. Hire the best motion graphic designer you can. And when you do, it will be helpful to understand some of the basics about graphic design as it applies to corporate video. Motion graphics are even more prevalent and prominent in corporate video these days because digital technology allows for more sophisticated and easier manipulation of graphic elements. And we watch so much video, a lot of it on small screens. And eye-catching graphics have become an essential tool in getting the big takeaways in your video to stick. It's possible that just because you can pop with your thumb prefab graphics, including text and emojis, onto apps like Instagram and TikTok, that you've deluded yourself into thinking that graphics are just as easily applied to your video. Uh, no. Uh, no. Let's just add to typeface, layout, and palette dimension, texture, light source, movement in 3D space, and sound effects. And I love when a designer starts talking about things moving on the Z-axis. So minority report. Here's a few basic graphic elements we see in a lot of corporate videos. Lower thirds are the style with which people are identified on screen. Transition wipes create a colorful way to cut between shots or scenes. Bugs are graphics that usually appear in the lower right or left hand corner of the screen. And cards usually refer to graphics taking up the whole frame, perhaps from when silent films were intercut with literal cards that delivered the dialogue. <laughs> graphics are one of those things like good sound that is an instant signifier of high production values. No matter how beautiful your images are, or for that matter, clean your sound, if your video has crappy graphic design, it will look cheap and, well, crappy. But sometimes that may be the look you want. The vocabulary of graphic design offers almost infinite options, and each style choice carries meaning in relation to the others and to your narrative. For example, think about typefaces. Parenthetically, do you know the difference between a typeface and a font? A typeface is the design of lettering, like Helvetica. Fonts are all the variations within the typeface, like bold, extra bold, light, italic, condensed, etc. But we were talking about typefaces and how each one of them has a definite flavor. Gothic, rustic, goofy, DIY, fancy, corporate. But what kind of corporate? Because the differences get really subtle. And you start to wonder like what a serif means and the impact of kerning. And what about layout and color and whether the letters should fly in from the right or the left or from behind the virtual camera? Should the words make a sound when they fly in? Honestly, you need professional help. Whether the type or other elements come flying in from space, 
The fact is that words must be read, which takes a certain amount of focus and time on the part of your audience. And that is why graphics are really helpful in underscoring big points. But you rarely want to stop your videos so that people can read. Make sure that you keep whatever copy you want to be read on screen as brief and punchy as possible. And for God's sake, proofread every word on the screen. Graphics aren't necessary in every video, but when they are, they become instantly readable as cool or corny, cheap or sophisticated. And I'm telling you, very few of us have the taste and training to make great looking and effective graphics. Find somebody who does and keep them happy.